Hey everyone, today we're gonna to talk about a template that I use when I evaluate different tools. This could be a, an authoring tool, this could be a learning management system, this could be a learning record store, this could be an, a learning experience platform, all these different various tools in the learning area. This template can be applied to all of those. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through how to use it, how to adapt it to your needs as well, and we'll get started next. Welcome back, my name is Jeff Batt, and if you haven't checked out my website, go ahead and check out my website at learningdojo.ninja. Here you can check out all previous blog posts with different learning development tips and tricks, including all the different tools, Articulate Storyline, Rise360, how to automate some of your production as well. And you can also check out templates and download free templates, both Articulate Storyline templates as well as XAPI templates. And this is where you'll find the templates we're going to be talking about today. And you can also check out full courses, everything that you need to know about Articulate Storyline 360, Adobe Captivate, XAPI Fundamentals, Articulate Rise, Custom Scorm, and HTML5 video. But today we're going to be focused specifically on a template that I use for evaluation. Uh, evaluating different systems can be very tedious. It can be very... Uh, involve a lot of people, a lot of different stakeholders as well. So how do you make sure that you gather the feedback from these different stakeholders? How do you, how do you like um, take all the feedback and use it to evaluate the tool and how it does compared to everybody's different uh, opinions as well? So that's where this template comes into play. Again, if you go to my website at learningdojo.ninja and you go into the template section, if you scroll all the way down, there is the strategy templates down at the bottom. Now, there are two different types of templates that you can use. There is a business requirement document where you can download and set kind of the standards of what you're looking for and different uh, things that you can hand off to the vendor. But then this one right here is the, down, uh, the requirements document. Now, the requirements document is something that you can use and give to other stakeholders as they start to see demos of different tools. And then they can use this to grade the tools in the different areas, and I'll walk through that. So all you have to do is enter in your email, go ahead and click on download, and that will download the template for you. Now I'm going to open this up. This is an Excel document that I've created. Feel free to edit this, adjust it however you want, whatever fits your needs. It's pretty much yours at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and just expand this out so we can see the whole thing here. And you can see right now that I have my different uh, files. So this is the vendor evaluation form. So the vendor evaluation form allows you to create different areas and different requirements that you're looking for. So after you go through the business requirements document and you evaluate everything you need to, you can take, it, take out specific features or specific areas that you're looking for. So you can see right here, area one. Well, let's say area one is actually usability. So if you wanted to have all the usability requirements contained in this area, that's what, what this would be for. So you, usability requirement would be something like um, UI ease of use, basically. So you would type in something like that, UI ease of use. So as you start to list out these different requirements, I'm just gonna type in ABC for each of these, and there we go. These are the different uh, requirements that we're looking for inside of usability that kind of match together. Now, once I have this here and I go through each area and I kind of fill it out, then I can hand this out. Okay, so for each vendor, what I would do is I would right click and I would go move or copy and I would move it to the end here inside of this book still, so the evaluation form, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. Oh, I forgot to, let me right click and do that move or copy and I'm gonna create a copy, move to end, and click OK. So now it creates a copy, and so this one would be vendor one. And I would do the same thing for vendor two, vendor three, and vendor four. Now I would save this Excel file and then send it out to all of my different stakeholders who are going to be attending these different demos. Now what they can do, because all the requirements will be listed here, is as they start to watch the demo and they start to look at these different things, or even afterwards, they could come in here and they could score. Now, one thing I forgot to mention as well is you want to set the importance of each of these requirements. And that's where you could come in here and select the weights. So 
So you can see right here, I have three different possible weights. How much is this requirement really important to us? And so you could either do it as a score of 30, a score of 20, or a score of 10. And that just gives us a certain number. How much is this actually worth? So you can see here, this ease of use is really important to us. And so we're gonna score it at 30. And so you can see here, if I come in and say this is uh, 30 points basically, or this one is, eh, it's okay, it's kind of medium, we can change that to 20, or we can change this to 10 as like, eh, it'd be a nice to have, but it's not something like a deal breaker or something like that. So all I have to do now, now that I've kind of set that score, and you would probably wanna do that before you start making the copies of the tab and everything, so everything is consistent, send that off to your stakeholders, and then all your stakeholders have to do is come into the feature score and select this drop-down box. Now, from here, they just score zero, one, two, or three. That's what this is uh, telling me up here. So three means that it's excellent. This is perfect. The vendor uh, meets the requirements here. Or it's two, it's good. I mean, it's not the best, but it's it's doable. And then number one is needs improvements. We could probably get away with it, but it's not gonna be great. And then zero means that it's poor. They really scored bad in that area. So really the, the a stakeholder, all they have to do is come and say, okay, well that scored a two. And you can see what's happening here is it's basically taking the points and it's timing by, timesing by two. And then it gives us the score of 60 in that area. So the max score could be 90 points. If they really got three, let me select this drop down box again. Um, if they got three on all of them, come back here, and select three, then it would be a score of 90. That's why I do it with just, you know, with uh, even numbers like, or numbers like 10, 20, and 30, just so it gives me kind of that even number here. But if I start to adjust this here, you'll notice that the max score in each of these areas could be 2,400 points. So that's the maximum. If they were perfect on every single one of our requirements, then they would be a 24, they would have 2,400 points. The score as they start, to, these start to get evaluated, lets you know how that vendor did. At the end of this, you can say vendor one scored only, you know, a thousand points out of 2,400. They're probably not gonna move forward, but vendor two scored 1,800 points out of 2,400, which is not perfect, but it gets us closer to that. So this is just a tool to help you and help others now, as you've gone through the process of figuring out your different requirements and everything, plug in those different requirements here and use this during the evaluation process and then get that score. And once you get that score, then you could use that score to, um, you can use that score to make your decisions. Now, one other thing I wanted to uh, just let you know, if I come in here and start to add the different scores here, notice that the section score also adds as well. So what this does is it lets you know how they do in certain areas. So this in this area, usability, oh, they're great, but in um, admin functions, they're not as great. That's what that would actually give you is that kind of score there. Now, if you need to add on more, that's fine too, but you do need to adjust some of the calculations here. So I'm gonna insert one more row. And so I would probably just want to copy over everything from here and paste it right there. Now, if I double click into here, I don't need to adjust anything down at the bottom for these two different items because it's just gonna take everything in that row and make it part of the calculation. However, I do need to check to make sure this one was added, which it, in this case it was, so we're good. But if you, in some cases, if you went right below this one, for example, I'm not sure if this one would actually be included. Oh, let's do uh, right click inserts, or if it gets added below, in this case, it's trying to add it above. So we're good there. But if it gets added below, you may need to adjust the range and what's being added there. So just keep that in mind. Now, then they can make comments here. And so as they go through and say, yep, this was great. If they feel like they need to make a comment or if they feel like they need to explain why they gave it a poor score, you can do that here. So then they would save this, send it back to you after they've watched all the different demos and you can then calculate everything up together. So hopefully this has been useful for you, just a, a quick template for you to use as you go through your evaluation process of any type of tool, authoring tool, learning management system, learning record store, 
anything like that. Think through the process of what requirements you want, um, and then use this tool to get those points, and then that can help you make your decisions and also prove to your uh, upper management why you're making this decision. Now, if you want to check out more templates, go ahead and go back to my website. You can see templates on Articulate Storyline 360, XAPI, and you can also check out the business requirements document as well. You can also check out full courses, everything from A to Z on Articulate Storyline 360, Adobe Captivate, XAPI Fundamentals, Articulate Rise, Custom Score, HTML5 video, and all things about learning development. And if you like this video, go to my YouTube channel and click that like button. Also subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon to be notified of all future videos as they come out. That really helps uh, grow my channel and let me know what else you wanna see. What other templates are you um, needing in order to help in your learning developments and your evaluation process? I'm happy to hear those. So just make a comment down below at my YouTube video. But that's all I have for today. So thanks everyone. I'll see you next time.